Teleport is the easiest, most secure way to access all of your infrastructure. In this video, we'll show you how Teleport can unify access for Linux and Windows servers, Kubernetes, databases, and applications across all environments. Prior to Teleport 9, Teleport was focused on giving teams secure access to infrastructure by using short-lived credentials linked to an SSO identity, making access both easy and providing a clear audit log for who did what. Teleport 9 extends this access from machine-to-machine -machine communication. Machine ID is an easy way for developers to secure machine-to-machine -machine communications based on X509 and SSH certificates. Teams can now bring all the benefits of Teleport, like role-based access and audit for machines. Machine ID lets infrastructure tools like Jenkins and Ansible or microservices benefit from authentication and authorization via short-lived credentials without having to run a CA yourself. Once deployed, Tbot will acquire the relevant RBAC limited credentials and all activity will be logged by Teleport. Let's look at a simple example. Here we have an Ansible control node deployed within our VPC. We've used Teleport to access the host and we'll use Ansible to update its packages. Ansible requires SSH credentials to access hosts. Let's run our playbook. As Ansible runs, we can see all of the connections in Teleport. This highlights the power of machine ID. We now know which machine is communicating with other machines. Notice an audit log SCP event. This is how Ansible works. Under the hood, the Ansible configuration is the same. With the Tbot service creating the SSH config for us and obtaining new credentials every 20 minutes, greatly reducing the blast radius if a token was compromised. Let's look at a few other additions to Teleport 9. Teleport 9 marks the GA release of Teleport Desktop Access for Windows. Teleport Desktop Access now provides greater visibility and security for Windows sessions with session recording, multi-factor authentication, along with clipboard support. Let's start with the clipboard. We'll start a new desktop session. Once in, I have to pull a debug log. I'm now able to copy and paste the error log line so I can create my ticket. All clipboard activity is monitored in the audit log, and we can disable this via Teleport RBAC configuration. Let's start a new Teleport desktop access session. In this case, we'll access a domain controller. Since Active Directory domain controllers are such important pieces of infrastructure, we've used Teleport to provide another layer of protection. Teleport 9 adds per session MMFA for desktop sessions requiring users to present a second authentication method. In our case, I'll have to tap my hardware token to get access. Teleport 9 also includes session recording for Teleport desktop sessions. Sessions can be recorded on a per role basis and they provide complete video playback. Let's take a look at the action. Here's the recording of my last session. Next up, let's take a look at some improvements and additions to Teleport database access. Teleport 9 adds support for three more databases with support for Redis, Microsoft SQL Server, and MarivaDB. Let's take a closer look at Redis. We've created a dedicated SRE user for general maintenance. Prior to Teleport, the team used a shared password. With Teleport, we get visibility into which team is assuming the SRE role because Teleport connects to the session to their identity and all activity is tracked in the audit log. This video scratches the surface of what's possible with Teleport. Visit us today at goteleport.com to download and try today.